guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to descale your Keurig coffee maker with nothing but vinegar. It is really easy. All you need, as you see, I've got here my vinegar, got my classic K50 Keurig machine. I'm gonna show you in a really simple one step process how you can not only clean but descale your Keurig coffee maker. This is great if your coffee has started tasting funny, if your descale light has come on on your machine, or if you just haven't done this process in about three to six months. It's a process that you want to get in the habit of doing about every three months just to make sure your coffee maker is clean, descaled, and functioning at its peak performance so that it lasts as long as possible for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss one of my future cleaning, crafting, or organization uploads. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the last K-cup that I used. So if you've got a K-cup from a previous use in your compartment still, make sure you take that out before we start this cleaning process. Next, I'm just going to run water through my Keurig. I'm going to do this to show you what the water comes out looking like. This is just existing water that is already in the console on the side of my Keurig, but it really does pick up and show all of the grime and coffee remnants that were in my machine. So take a look at the color that this water came out. It was brown, really shows that though we think our Keurig is clean, it really isn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, just dump it out right into the sink. And then we will go ahead and get started with our cleaning and descaling process. As I mentioned before, all this takes to clean and descale your Keurig is one ingredient. We are just going to use standard distilled white vinegar. So I've got my bottle of vinegar here. I'm going to go ahead and use two cups of vinegar to descale my Keurig today. So I'm just pouring that into a measuring cup. It does not have to be a perfect measure, but I use about two cups of vinegar. I'm then going to go ahead and take the water that was previously in the console on the side of my Keurig, empty that out just so that I am using fresh vinegar, fresh water to go ahead and clean and descale. I'm going to add my two cups of white vinegar into this console. And then this is a little bit up for interpretation. If you wanna use two parts vinegar to two parts water or two parts vinegar to one part water, today you're gonna to see me do the second so I'm going to use two parts vinegar, two cups, to one part water, one cup. So I'm just going to add my one cup of water, tap water is totally fine here, and put that into the console for my Keurig as well so that we've got both of them in there together. In order to fully clean and descale my Keurig, I'm now going to repeatedly run multiple cups of my vinegar and water mixture through my machine. In order to do this, I'm going to choose the largest coffee cup option setting. So the most ounces of vinegar and water solution that I can run throughout the machine at one time. This is why you're seeing me choose the option on my Keurig all the way on the right hand side. This is to maximize efficiency so this process doesn't end up taking all day. We're just going to run this cycle as many times as it takes. First to empty out our canister of vinegar and water combined. And then second just to run a water only canister through as well. So as you can see, this water is already coming out a little bit clearer. It's getting a lot of grime. That cup had some particles of coffee grounds in it. So really good to see that already coming out. And I'm just going to repeat the process. So continuing to open and close my K-cup canister so that I can restart and run another cup through. Now, what I'm not doing in this video, but I do recommend that you do, is when you first run your vinegar and water cup, go ahead and run one cup through. That will have pulled your vinegar and water mixture into kind of the heart of your Keurig canister where water gets stored inside. Then go ahead and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. The reason for this is it lets the vinegar that has been pulled into the Keurig sit and work its magic on the parts inside that you aren't able to access or clean. After that's happened, you've let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, then you can go ahead and continue to run the cups through like I'm doing here, moving on to your second and third cup of actually heating and bringing out that vinegar water mixture. Once you've run enough cups on your machine that you have used up everything in that water and vinegar joint uh, console, you're going to want to empty that out, rinse out 
the side canister that holds the water so that you get out any remnants of vinegar. And then you wanna go ahead and fill that back up with fresh water. And we're going to run an entire canister through again. So probably three to four cups there, depending on the size that you're choosing. Here, I've filled up my side canister all the way to that max fill line. Whereas with the vinegar and water together, we did only three cups total. Here, I'm filling it all the way up with fresh water to make sure that I am maximizing the number of cups that I run through. To make sure that I am clearing out any of that vinegar smell or taste, there is nothing worse than going through this descaling process, thinking you have run enough rinse cups through, and then making your first cup of coffee only to take a taste and still get some of that vinegar uh, taste in there as well. So if you are unsure, it never hurts to run additional water cups through after you have let the vinegar sit in the machine. It's just going to protect you on the other side so that you don't get that nasty tasting coffee after this process. Now I wanna show you up close what a difference you can even see from having already run through the vinegar when we started, I was getting water that was coming out in one spigot versus the four that just showed up here. It's already showing me that it has removed all of that buildup that was blocking some of those coffee streams from my Keurig container. So already you can see it's moving a lot more liquid through. That is exactly what I wanna see to feel like I've done a successful cleaning and descaling process for my Keurig machine. So like I said before, I'm just going to run cups through until I hit the point where my Keurig machine tells me that I need to add water. So once you've run an entire new canister of fresh water through, you should be good. And you have successfully cleaned and descaled your Keurig machine. I recommend that you do this process every three months, even if your descale light hasn't come on, just to ensure that you're keeping your Keurig clean and that it is working as best as it can for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and are successful in cleaning and descaling your Keurig. If this method works well for you, or if you try a different method, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.